the opening bell, Fontana preschool teacher, bantamweight Gabriel Murataya came to work as Sergio Lopez was really tough, very aggressive from the start. Murataya stood busy throughout the fight and going the distance. This is the type of fight a prospect needs. He needs the rounds. He doesn't necessarily need a knockout. This was a very good fight for the young prospect as he improves to 4-0 with three knockouts. Lightweight Andres Cortez of Las Vegas went the distance and had his hands full against Alejandro Salinas in going eight rounds. Salinas and Cortez mixed it up early on. However, there was a clash of heads which appeared to take away some of Cortez's momentum early in the third. Salinas then dropped Cortez with a right in the closing seconds of the fourth. It was all Salinas, the momentum appeared. However, Cortez made some slight adjustments, connecting with the right hand. The adjustment seemed to make a difference as Cortez went on to outwork Salinas route to a hard-fought unanimous decision as he definitely had his hands full on this one. The prospect improves his record to 13-0 and 7 knockouts. In Mexico, Luis Alberto Lopez won a split decision over Andy Vences in a junior lightweight cool feature. Vences boxed like a bigger man, boxed like the bigger fighter obviously with the distance his reach, keeping Lopez away as he left him in. There was a clash of heads in the fifth that appeared to have changed the momentum as Vences was on the receiving end. The momentum obviously changed as Lopez attacked and he staggered Vences in the sixth. Vences looked shaky throughout the fight. He looked very sluggish after all. Lopez boxed from there on out as he gave Vences a lot of trouble in the later round. The bleeding, the cut, it wasn't the best of Vences made in the fight. I thought Vences did enough to win the fight. It wasn't his best outing, however, Lopez wins the split decision, improving to 21, 2, and 11 knockouts. As for Vences, he goes to 23, 2, 1, 12 knockouts. In the main event, Junior Walkway Jose Cepeda went the distance, going 10 rounds and winning a unanimous decision over San Antonio Scandal Castaneda. Cepeda was boxing early, very smooth, in control working very patiently as the Southpaw Castaneda just stopped in the early rounds. Cepeda was very productive working overall. The former world title challenger appeared to be outclassing Castaneda halfway through the fight. However, Castaneda had his moments at the halfway point, his pressure. He's staying close to Cepeda as he took some rounds, but Cepeda overall worked his way as he outboxed very game Castaneda, working his way to a unanimous decision win. Cepeda improves his record to 32 to 25 knockouts as he looks to challenge one of the world champions in the junior welterweight division. In the non-televised bouts, lightweight Eric Puente won a unanimous decision over Diego Alisonto. Puente improved his record to 3-0. Genaro El Conde Gámez made quick work of Raymond Yanom. Scoring a first round knockout with a crushing right hand, a 259 of the first. Gomez improves his record 10 and 1, 7 knockouts.